Yo, what up guys, so in today's video what I want to do is show you how to basically um, get remote access to a computer directly within, within your local area network. Now you can run this in a cafe, obviously don't do it because it's illegal, but I'm just giving an example where this could be basically run. Um, and basically the thing we're going to use is basically your attacker machine and a file that you're going to distribute. And that's how you get remote access to a device and then you can do further whatever you want. Um, so basically we're going to run your Kali, you're going to run your terminal. Um, now we're going to run MS Venom, which is a part of um, Metasploit framework. As you may think, because it's MS Venom, MS console. Um, so MS Venom P, that's basically the payload. Um, A is the platform. F is the f basically our Kali machine. Now explain to need to change this in a second. And this is our file path. Um, in a second, I'm just going to explain that. The first thing you should do is change your IP address. How do you get your IP address? You get your IP address by going into fconfig. So fconfig for ipconfig slash all for Windows, but it won't work on Windows. That's going to run um, when, um, Linux. It would possibly work where you just need to know how to set up on Windows. So basically, just copy this IP address, put it on, as I said, this file, just swap this, put it here. It'll host your uh, IP address, so whatever your IP address is. It'll port, put a, I don't know, 4444, leave it as it is actually. And now this is the file path. Now I'll show you how to get the file path. As you can see, I just had to re-record this because I made a little mistake. So basically what we're going to do is cd slash forward slash, sorry, forward slash, ls or pwd, as you can see, and we do ls, we're in the root of the computer, the root uh, system. So we need to do cd home ls cd kali ls cd desktop now as you can see it's a very very ineffective what i'm doing over here because i'm running basically the same commands over and over again but the reason is because for your system may be different for me as kali so the file path for you will be forward slash home forward slash kali forward slash desktop so as you can see if you go to here it will be forward slash home forward slash your name desktop and GTA 6 install EXE. Now you can name this whatever you want. I'm just going to run this command and in a second what should happen is we should get a payload on our desktop. And as you can see saved as, as soon as it saves, it saved as, uh, we have a um, desktop. So this file is our payload. Now we can run this obviously in any computer you want. Um, any Windows, any Windows device you want, sorry. It's not going to work on Linux because it's our Windows payload. Um, obviously, as I said, make sure that you're, what you're doing is legal. Don't commit any crimes for no reason because you're going to get in trouble and there's nothing I can do about it. Now, obviously, this is a payload, but how do we distribute it? We can distribute it by many times. We can, I'm pretty sure we can distribute it by, by a man in the middle attack. What happens a man in the middle attack is basically an attacker changes a website and you, instead of, for example, surfing Amazon, you're surfing a spoofed Amazon, which means... Um, anything you send there he can see and i'm pretty sure you can distribute files if you set it up correctly and that's how you would really distribute it or you can just basically you know um put on a pen drive and put on people's computers now i'm just giving you ideas the reason is because you need to be aware of this if you're going to be a cyber cybersecurity specialist you need to be aware of these type of attacks you can't just basically you know you can you need to know every single possibility there is so what we need to do is now run um, file explorer, open folder. Now you can do this with mv command, however, I'm just because I'm doing this um, for on experience users as well. So you can explore stuff. Um, I'm going to show you how to do this with the GUI GUI, because there's obviously a possibility, a very, very quick way to copy this into a um, folder with command line, which I'll show you in the next video. What I'm planning to do is make a very, very good structured video about command line in Linux. So file system, we need to go var ww html and secret make a new folder and html make a new secret make a new folder call it wherever you want and it's case sensitive right and so secret as you can see i've got files here now because this is a sort of a structure of linux what you're gonna have to do is open this root so i'm just gonna have to put my password in and you're gonna get a certain gui uh, you can actually close this and um, put here the 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 payload and as soon as you're done, as you can see, it says you're running the root account, you may harm your system. Close this, and that should done. Now, there's one more command you need to run, which is sudo service apache to start. As for me, it's actually started. 
I would just actually I have to check if it's running. So basically status. And as soon as this is active running and it says um, from when it was started and it's working. So basically this you done. Now the first thing we need to do and um, the next thing we need to do is sorry is run MFS console. Run MFS console and in the meantime go to your Windows device. Actually no yet. And um, what we're gonna do is run the payload. So we need to do is use multi handler multi handler two seconds because the there we go multi handler we want me to use set payload um payload windows interpreter reverse tcp there we go now the way to do is set l host eth0 which stands for basically adapter l host is local host remote host or host is remote host which is the victim i should put on the screen uh, stuff like this to make sure that you understand. Um, set L port 444 and that's it. You can check show options to make sure that everything you have set is running. And what you can do is just click run. And what you're gonna get is a started reverse TCP handler on this IP address, which means we are the listener. Uh, listener is basically, basically a, a, vector, a device that's listening for anything, any um, reverse connections. So basically what we're gonna do is go to Windows 10 we're going to switch now. I'm going to have to make this a bit ugly. Yeah. So what we need to do is go to your Windows, uh, sorry, your device and run going to your IP address of the victim, of the attacker, sorry. So for me, it's one link to one six eight eleven one thirty nine dot slash secret. Now make sure it's case sensitive, right? So as you can see, there's files. Now, technically, um, I have obviously I've turned the firewall off. The reason is because firewall um, basically deletes it but in a second I'm going to show you something else because there's technically two firewalls in Windows or two file ta file um, types of firewall so basically we're going to get this we're going to save it as we're going to save it on desktop we're going to name it leave it as it is right save it we can close this and that's it now don't run it yet because I'm going to show you something as you can see this is our Windows Defender and uh, I'm just going to run the firewalls well there we go. So this is our file right now. It's actually turned off for some reason, but I'm going to turn it on for you to check. Now it's turned on. This firewall should actually... Now as you can see, it's turned off. Yes. But even with this firewall, with this firewall, I'll show you again, even though it should actually stop this, as you can see, we will still be able to connect. With this firewall, still we are still able to connect to the computer, which should not be because, the as you can see, the description of this firewall um, it says Windows Firewall can help prevent hackers or malicious software from gaining access to your PC through the internet or a network. What this means is that any malicious connection or any malicious software should be stopped by this firewall. Bad connections. And as you can see, this is a payload that I just have basically run through a network and it's not deleted. Now, obviously, if I run the Windows Firewall uh, on its own, it will delete the firewall, but still, the firewall itself should not allow this to happen. That's why I recommend having a third party. A third party would never allow this. Third party, even if you basically sort of turn off certain things, it will still make sure that you're safe. That's why I'm recommending, as I said, recommending um, to make sure they have a third party firewall right now. We're going to run this. Um, let me just check. Yep, so it's running. Okay, I'm just going to run this payload. And as soon as we start, as you can see, something's loading, and we're going to go to our vector machine. Sorry, our Kali. And as you can see, we are in Kali, and as you can see, we got three lines, which technically the only one that interests us is Meterpreter session one opened with the IP address that we have, and that's it. And we're in Meterpreter, which means we have that uh, direct. We're in PowerShell now, and as soon as we're in PowerShell, we have over complete, complete control over the computer. There's nothing that you can possibly do now. Um, as soon as I turn off the firewall, it will sort of stop the connection, right? So it sort of is still sort of protecting you, but still Windows firewall should stop this from happening. Right, so basically, as I said, uh, we have complete control over this computer now. What I can do here in desktop, what I can do is LS. Um, as you can see, there's the, the, the file. What I can do is make a folder hacked and make a new folder, for example, subscribe <coughs> to my channel. And as you can see, we can put stuff in it. So we can put subscribe. That's oh, not going to work, is it? 
we can put stuff in there. Um, so as I said, this is very, very easy to do. That's why, sort of, that's why hacking is legal because it takes a couple seconds to do this. Man in the, in the middle attack is very, very easy to do. In the future videos, as soon as I get sort of my laptop running, and um, because I can't do this without a Wi-Fi, or at least it's not going to work the way I want it to, um, if I was to run this on my computer, as I'm doing right now, um, so I would have to get my laptop. However, I don't think my laptop is strong enough. I'm not very sure, so I will have to see stuff, so yeah, and um, as I said, in my next video I'm planning to do basically a Linux tutorial, how to run commands, what, how you can improve your Linux skills and stuff like this, I just have basically a Linux module right now, um, I've learned some stuff, and overall yeah, so hope you've enjoyed the content, if you can leave a like, you know, subscribe, um, Join my Discord as well, because I'm as I said, I'm planning to give a good giveaway, but there's not actually a lot of people on my Discord right now. Um, 